obvious thing is there's a lot of emphasis on money now than in my time than in my father's time. Um, people would tend to ignore the negative side if you make up for it by the fact that you have a lot of money. Whereas in my parents' time, it, doesn't, it didn't I matter what money, amount yeah. of money you had. If you were a heel, people still regarded you as, as uh, untouchable. To that extent, um, values may have deteriorated a bit, and not just for men really. Uh, it's a societal thing. I always say to people, um, we are products of the environment, and whatever you grow up with becomes normal. You don't even realize it. Growing up, for instance, if I saw a dead goat on the, on the road, uh, for several hours I was nauseated. Children see dead human beings on the road now mm -hmm. and they don't even bat an eyelid. Just keep walking. Yeah, because it's not... Was it's desensitized. It, yeah, yeah. So but everything it depends... Because of disrespect for the rule of law. No, I... See, no. society went well, down... Can, can, I, can I, I... I think... The, you, you know, the, our society, I'm talking about Nigeria, Yes. you know, um, has, has undergone a rapid deterioration of values yes. over mm -hmm. the past 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, no, it, no, 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 no. Yeah, it just, it, it just kept going down. It became part of and, the, and then yes. people like, got desensitized to yes. stealing, corruption. Look, yeah. if you want to go far back, I mean, a lot of things people are doing now is what is called taboo. When you go and take, yes, 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 you take public funds and keep it for yourself, that's a taboo. That is something you, you and your family will be banished. Mm -hmm. So when the colonial masters came and took that value system away and we, we, we started working with Christianity, now our people are, first of all, a society that does not decide on who they are. Nigerians are still trying to define who they are. You know, if you don't have that definition, then you are vulnerable. The kids are watching cartoon, which is providing a completely different value system. Yeah. Can I can I speak to this? Yeah, I, I think that I mean I think Kalishi's touched on the point, and yeah. Oga also touched on it. And you're right. I think values in society have been at risk for a very long time, and anybody who's Nigerian knows this. But sometimes maybe we don't necessarily. Um, deal with the consequences and the, the reasons of why that's the case. Part of it is the colonial issue. Part of it is the conflict between Christianity, Islam, and our traditional values. And the fact is that if you look at all of us here, as we're sitting on this table, if any one of us coming out of our village or out of our local home community, and in all of our local home community, no matter where you're from, the community might give you money to go and do something for the community. Nobody would ever steal that money. It is an impossibility. It is a taboo. You will be, you, in ostracized. fact, you'll be ostracized beyond anything. But the same exact people will be put into a public office, and their community will actually attack them for not stealing the money. Exactly. So the issue becomes that there is a lack of ability for us as a people to see public money as belonging to us. And because we don't also pay taxes, then it becomes that it's just, a, it's just, a, it's just there. But then, and then this was all compounded by having the military for 40 years, who, who provide imaginary shortcuts, but actually break the institutions. So now we're coming out of military psychosis. And it is psychosis. It takes a long time. So that's why when, as Victor said earlier, you wonder, well, why did they build things? Because it looks like they can do it like that. But there wasn't a process. And that's why in Lagos, they had to go back to stop everything and say, no, you have to have planning permission. Because this wasn't supposed to be a commercial area. You understand? And that is also a value. Building on a pipeline is part of values. You know, doing stuff that you know you shouldn't do, but allocating it to yourself anyway is part of integrity and value. So yes, there's a values issue. But it, one thing is, is common to, to all of this is probably money. Yeah. It seems to be central well, to public funds. funds. The kind of deterioration. Yeah. Maybe not even just to public funds. Your friends, you, your friends you get together to do some kind of business and somebody defrauded you. It, it was less so yes. it never, yeah, it was a couple happens, of years yeah. back. It's a lot more now. Mm -hmm. And the other part of it, which probably you can also link to money, is that um, getting justice, it's almost impossible. fair justice, 
um, seems to be very difficult. In other, in other words, the one... Okay. Yeah, your, your private commercial issues yeah, or whatever. The, the one difference between us, I mean, we are not worse than any other no. yeah, people in, in anywhere in the yeah. world. Yes, that's Sometimes. true. When I was growing up, for instance, we were coming from, going on holidays from school, and we went from Lagos, about the old uh, Ibadan Road, there would be things on the road to buy, mm -hmm. some food items. They would put how much each one is supposed to be. You would go there, pick it, put your own money, and go. Oh, wow. Nobody would steal Nobody it. be there. Yeah. So it's these same people it's called that, Nigeria. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with us, basically. Exactly. But when you have a situation where you can do the wrong things and get away, and get away with it, that's the difference between us and many other countries. Mm -hmm. You can be a, a relation of the Queen of England. If you break the traffic law, you will have been arrested before the Queen even will hear about yeah. it. So you'd have paid the fine before you'd have paid she the finds fine. out. Yeah. We have a culture. I'll always say something. For instance, you, some barometer of where, where we are as a people is traffic. There's a traffic buildup, and um, what you find in no time at all, somebody's going the, to, yeah, the, the yeah. wrong way, yeah. facing traffic on the other side to try and beat this. And because he gets away with it, other people follow him. Other good. people follow. And so scatter, in no time at all, this place is also blocked. People coming from there can't go anywhere. And then but the beauty of it is coming to you. Yes. The beauty of it also is you now find people who are not of this country, nationals of other countries, follow them. French, Chinese, American, who will not do that in their own country. They follow this. But they find that you get away with it. So they follow you. The point is the instrument of control is not there. What is the instrument of control? Police. Look, police. Traffic police, the rule of law that I mentioned in passing is key to all of these. Somebody says, this is where you should take, you should yeah. not do that. Why was a governor stopping somebody who was driving the opposite direction? Mm -hmm. I mean, for goodness sake, the governor became a traffic uh, warder, whatever. But well, he did that as part of example, and there's nothing no, wrong no, with I'm that. I'm trying to say that the society had broken down. Yeah. So yes, they were not respecting because, because over time, the rule of law. Yes, over time, the point have seen not that worthy of being yeah. respected. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is yeah. where what I'm trying to say is how do we now get it back? You know, the right. Right. proper you public know, government. Is what you said mm. about um, about <laughs> us being innately good people, or, mm -hmm. we, or, but that the rule of law is just what we don't obey. There's one thing that always sticks to comes to my mind. I was traveling one day, and there was this big man. <laughs> he a man was carrying his newspaper. One man was carrying mm -hmm. his. Briefcase. Briefcase, another one with his passport, another one just conversing with him. Mm. And the police, the uh, security people at the check-in thing, at the security pass said, ah, only if you are traveling. Ah, they looked at him that, Why, you, are you? Can you imagine? So this man, uh, uh, at, the, at my risk, walked through with four people. Mm -hmm. And we entered the same airplane, and we got to London. And he carried his own stuff by himself. He was carrying it. So I looked at, I, I looked at him. I looked at him and I said, I said, I said can you imagine if you had, how, how much more of an effect you would have had if you had told those four people, oh, it's true, you're not allowed to go, go past here. Go. You now come here and you ask. And he said, why, why are you talking to me? I said, my name is Chris Obosi. You cannot do anything to me. This is, and if you touch me in London, I'll arrest you. Uh, <laughs> you know, when we get back to Nigeria, you can do all You can do big man. I, even in Nigeria, I cannot I told him all for the he has been 30 doing minutes so. around that. Acting big man. <laughs> I told you, I said, but, but, but the real, but the, that's the point. A man somebody just, must stand you just flick the you know, switch. Why don't you walk past the key? It is elite and the privilege the elite Nigerians have been incredibly irresponsible. And yes. when you say somebody yes. must stand up, the average man on the street needs an example to oh, look no, at. There have been a few that stood uh, up. No, no, of course not. But what, what, I'm saying is, what I'm saying to you is what he's saying is totally true. Think about the, one of the things that always makes me laugh. And for years, and I'm sure the minute I say it now, we'll all know this thing. How many times have you been outside Nigeria hmm, and see the Nigerian minister or governor or some other person in public office in a public setting? Hoping to be recognized. <laughs> no, that somebody, what, somebody, someone will come and say, uh, will come and say, ah, honorable minister, yeah, yeah. excellency, because nobody cares. Nobody's paying attention. You're out here in the real world, and frankly, as we're here, I don't know who you are. Yeah, exactly. I know who you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. that? But do, do you think, and I, I'm beginning to get th that feel that we are almost 
inadvertently institutionalized entitlement. That's the in, in other words, um, we, we almost have all agreed that laws are not made for yeah. everybody. Yeah. And, and Some then, laws for and then, sir, the okay. lower people, mm -hmm. and, and then um, I, can, I can drive to the tarmac, yeah. Yeah. and nobody's going to yeah. stop it's me evident. because no, I am me. You jail somebody for 25 years for stealing a good. And the man who stole 40 billion is still yeah, coming but, to work. But yeah. the, yeah. All, all these things you know, are it's, symptoms. It's, uh, they are symptoms of the major societal problem. Central problem. Yeah. yeah, and the truth is, there was something he we, talked about that was we, we keep, about it. We keep, at we the heart keep, of it. We're going to keep running around in circles. So now, there is, is, it's a very simple thing. Mm -hmm. Who is a Nigerian? Yeah. What do I? Bring to the table. What, I do, what, what, what do I give you? You know, this, this famous American president has said, that's not what your country can do for you, Kennedy. but what yeah. you can do for your country. Yeah. Now, that sums it up. Mm -hmm. If everybody brings something to put in the pot, then we build. And then you see people saying, oh, this soldier died for our country. They, 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 they occupy a special place. But, no, but, but, but bro, you know, you know, yeah, but you see, you're so right. But you see, the problem is this, and I'm sure Oga will agree with me and he will agree with me. The fun one of the fundamental problems is that we have been led by governments for 50 years that tell no stories, re re recognize no history, no history, and do not know how to yeah. build a national narrative. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, yes. yeah. therefore, yeah. you yeah. cannot yeah. celebrate these people. Yeah. What happens is that we have millions of Nigerians, both average people, normal people, that should have been celebrated to build that national united narrative, yeah. but we have ignored all of them, chasing Absolutely nothing. Well, well, and, and the other side of it, yes. an extension of all of this, yeah. we have become a lot more tribal. Yes. More when, than ever. When yes. I was in board, boarding yeah. school, right. when I was in Crazy. boarding school, we, we said that. <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the this fellow this is next to me, in, in, yes, next sleeping time. next to me, and I'm being sincere now, I didn't, it didn't occur to me what part of the country yeah. he came from. Yeah. It didn't yeah. matter. Yeah. We were just brothers talking about brotherhood, we will collaborate in football, in cricket, to beat that other house. Period. And there may be somebody in that house whose parents lived right next to you. Next, it didn't matter. We were together here in yeah. Freeman United House. Yeah. United. Yeah. So you have a situation now where I hear um, it's our turn to present <laughs> the president. Uh. And I'm telling myself, uh, let's enter this. <laughs> what we're, it's a fundamental problem. What yeah. we are really saying yeah. is it is our turn to steal. That's the problem. Because, because, yeah. because other than that, steal. why <laughs> does it matter? No, um, so let me say, it's not even Sorry, about, it's not even about our turn to steal. <laughs> the, it's not even about the turn to steal. I say, I th what I think the real problem is, I, is I, I'm so happy you brought it up, because I, to me, it's the key problem in Nigeria. And Kanichi also said it. In Nigeria, we spend all our time focused on sharing instead of on producing. Nobody's, nobody's so here. nobody's talking about producing anything. Everybody's talking about sharing. So that might turn issue also means that it's the same culture of silence in this country, that when the person from our side is not doing anything, we don't talk. So we have a problem in Nigeria of the conspiracy of silence. Yeah. The entitlement you talked about extends through society. So that is why some older people say young people are entitled. Because those young people you are saying are entitled have watched you with your life of entitlement. Exactly. So they look at this thing going, okay, it, it, it's give me my own. Do you understand? From so the top. until there's a power of example that says, okay, Chris, actually, you know, worked 27 years to build this thing. You worked 30 years to build this thing. Nobody gave you anything. Nobody gave me anything. Nobody gave him anything. Nobody gave him anything. And until those stories are told, you will still stay stuck in this thing of how did it all happen? Do you think there's a pressure on men, especially African men, to show off being successful? So, I mean, you might not have that much money, but you get 100 now, you spend 99 on buying the big car, so everybody can say they have a big car, but you can't even fuel it. Do you think there's a pressure on, on, on men? That's a black, it's a black problem. No, I, it's, it's a black it's problem. It's a black problem. Yeah, it's not just... I'm not, it's not in Nigeria. It's a black problem. Not, 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 not really. Not, not really. The black one's extreme. Look, you find many people in the Western world, for instance, when, when it's all over, maybe they're retired, whatever it is, they tend to move on probably to the countryside, mm -hmm. yes. have um, a, 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 a nice little cottage. some little cottage somewhere <laughs> sure. to live. 
-hmm. They don't return to 40 bedroom houses. No. <laughs> which, they don't use. which they don't use. Which, no, which nobody uses. Which they need a lift to. You know? I yes. Use two rooms which is what we do. Outside. Have, have you noticed when someone is driving in Lagos Road <laughs> and is playing music, he's not playing for himself. He wants you to hear upstairs when he's passing. You know? So. Bang bang. <laughs> do you know I'm enjoying? <laughs> So, but, <laughs> yeah, I think that goes on through youth, then everybody starts growing up because there are things well, that unless you're I, I did as a kid. Really, really oh, no, 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 no. As a kid, you were doing it. Yes. yes. Uh, Victor, no. May, Mayweather is a liar. There is, there is something yeah. cultural. It is just about lean. us. Look, see, look. What, see how far I've come. Yes. So, that no, is it. Get rich or die. Look at what we're doing with weddings now. It wasn't like this. And why do we do it? Because we want to let people know we arrived. Yes. When we were growing up, for instance, you paid for your own wedding. I, I paid for yes, my own wedding. Me too. Me too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> as a matter of fact, that's the reason why there are so many divorces. Yes, sir. Yes. Question, no question. Uh, because you know, because, because of the wedding has caused, divorce, 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 divorce from day one. Gentlemen, gentlemen. You can't even afford gentlemen, anything. we've spent 90% of the time identifying the problems. Is there a solution? Yes, there is. Yeah, yes. Okay. Stop pre-wedding shoots. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 What is pre-wedding shoots like? All of a sudden, I pre-wedding shoots. Have you seen some of these shoots? Yes, I do. Can they say? Guys are going on destination pre-wedding shoots. They're doing destination pre-wedding shoots. Yes, I've just been like, what? How are you actually going to get married? What happened? No, but answer my question. Answer my question. Would you do pre-wedding Now, Obi, you said something that scared me. And of course, I agreed with you. That the problems are so many. It will take a long time to solve. Well, I don't think it takes a long time. But the problem is, when do we even start the journey towards that long time to solve? I think you can To start the journey, you must know what the problem is. We have a problem. But where you're starting where you're start and yeah, where yeah, you're yeah. going. Yeah. I will say something, for instance. Yeah. I, I was listening to the news in the last 24 hours. Some I wasn't the reader. No, no, no <laughs> not the you. Not the you. <laughs> Some crown prince and Saudi oh, sorry, he's wiped out everybody. Wiped out everybody. Arrested everybody. Took it down. Princes, <laughs> businessmen, Our lead, whatever it is, you know, um, he may have some ulterior motives. I don't know, but it's on the premise of if you have anything corrupt about you, he's also killing radical Islam, which is an incredible yes, statement that, to make. You, <laughs> you're in for it. Until we get a situation where somebody says. And I'm, I don't mean... The rolling, the rolling effect? The rolling has come may, to judgment. Maybe, maybe not I rolling in terms of killing, mm. but in terms of well, it, it wouldn't matter who you are. Beheading? That's what we expected. If you cross this line... The red line. The red line. Yes. Because we all think it will happen to him. We are living in denial, that's why. It will happen to me. Let me even come to that point. I think you're totally right. And it's like... In, in terms of Nigeria, it's almost like every time people tell you Nigeria needs a reset, yeah? And, and you look at it and you say to yourself, and I think, yes, you must find a way to sort of, and I think there are ways to actually deal with this corruption and create a cutoff, right? <coughs> Where even those who have done a lot of this corruption can come and negotiate and sort it out. And you could do it in-house and sort it out. And then you, you, you do cutoffs. You know, like the way they're doing with the taxation. Anybody who after these dates, you're your own. And leadership wait, 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 yeah, no leadership. Oh, and leadership well, goes, and leadership goes way beyond one person. I think mm -hmm. in Nigeria, in Nigeria, the culture of leadership, right, and the nature of leadership, and the nature of the way in which we work culturally means that we don't question authority by definition because everything's ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So we actually ourselves, and I think that's what it is. It's a, it's a decision as a people to say, with data with access and information in 2017, 2018, 2019, the, pe the people are going to be greatly involved in whatever happens politically. Yeah. And those who have influence can actually help to set the benchmarks of what those who intend to serve the people are serving for. Do you understand? Rather than, because you, you have to sort of have the, cre the conversation, rather than just, because what we tend to have a lot is insult this guy, insult that guy, point fingers. That doesn't solve anything. I, I still look at this. Say, you know, when you say the people, you know, I mean, okay, give or take 200 million spread across this geographical area. How many of them can read a tweet? Oh, no, that's why you have to go to radio. Now, 
Mm. What I'm yeah, talking. Trump, yeah, yes. because I know what Trump. I'm saying. <laughs> you, know, you can make this argument. You can analyze. You can say, "Oh, look at this candidate. He's got all of these course, things." Of course, none of them will not be relevant. They will not understand what you're talking about. Yeah, be based um, on now, but let's be careful. Yeah, 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 there will be one or two persons. You'll be amazed that the voter, the voter is very educated. How many people elected the president? They removed him. It was four million cap. They removed him. Well, not a matter of anything. People how many people engaged. are tweeting? People, how many people have mobile mobile phone access? If you listen, look at um, uh, France thirty nine. Yeah. Look at the Belgian guys thirty one. Yeah. Look at Trump. Look at uh, if the Obama. So, if, the, if you get if you get that eighteen to thirty year old people and, to come out and, and to they come can, out, they can take this country and be and they be can in charge. Okay, but, but, but you know, I'm telling you, but it, you know, it, it will shock. No, I, 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 shock I, I, the I agree. But you know, you know the problem. So don't don't look down. People. Don't Sometimes look down. When, when they talk about critical mass, mm, because this this is another area of. Um, but they will never pass the independent. You, but those people will never come through the but let them come party. Out. They will never come through the party. The independent candidates. No, if they allow the, independent this, this is another area. I hear this thing about let, them let the young people. Mm. It's not necessarily let them win, lead, but they have to be engaged. They have to have a voice. They have to. The unfortunate thing is, I don't even see the difference among the young people and the old in, I, I, in yeah, yeah. terms of decadence uh, and yeah. and yeah. in terms of being sucked in into this silliness about. Tribal refuge. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yes. yeah. You see, but, but that's mean, because the ones the, that for we instance, see, the kind yeah. of things I've heard and read mm -hmm. in the last couple of months about um, well, the man whose name shall not be mentioned shall not be mentioned. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> you, you know, yes. we will not give him any airtime. Let's just young people, delist him from airtime. Young time. people who should have a mind of their own yeah. to say this is insanity. But so you know what? You know the saddest thing. And then they're, they're led by but, some people. Everybody. But so retreats you, but you say into be, this tribal thing. You'd be yeah. amazed. You'd be amazed yeah. about the amount of those young people that are doing that nonsense. But there are a lot of people, yes. unfortunately, who are quite in your yeah. age group, who are in their seventies and, and who are frustrated, and then, who are busy pushing this thing, yeah. pushing. They, they, no, they, they are the ones yeah. pushing. Yeah. 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 They well, pushed it. They pushed it. They have no education and no These are all established. Estab these people all come through establishment. Exactly. If we cut off this, disrupt this establishment, and come out behind. Other people, other people behind it, an independent who doesn't have to go through the, the party mechanism. Yes, party, yes, mechanism. The party mechanism. That's the only way. But, 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 but have, never... I haven't said that. How realistic is it? It's very tough. It, it's in the. It's in the. It's in the to, Senate. To say. Yeah. It's in the Senate. Yeah. Be, because this. This whole business. They haven't. They haven't, they haven't passed it. They haven't this whole business of it's our turn. That's a problem. It's so forget, pervasive. Forget that. It's, so, it's so silly. And 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 at this stage, what it means. Yes, and absolutely. Bring out the worst candidates, gentlemen. <laughs> what happened? Bigger question. You see, I'm not the interviewer. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> the more you talk, you know, the more you talk, I find myself, you know, Getting saying, why are we looking this way when, right under our nose, there's a bigger problem. And the problem is, we talked about denial. You're talking about those people who are in the background pushing the new ones. Mm -hmm. You have identified that the new ones and the old are still in the same on the same Everybody page has the same of problem. decadence. Well, not just decadent. But there's ethnic, somebody, ethnic there issues. must be somebody. What does the system say, and how are we going to make sure that the system that is drawing us back must be dismantled? Well, mm -hmm. party consciousness. Independent candidacy is still not going to take place if the National Assembly doesn't well, it's them. make it work. It's right. them to pass it, yes. Yes, and we that would push take for a long time. We should push for that. Being an entrepreneur is not the new cool. Everybody <laughs> thinks that. You because you don't have a choice anyway. There's no, there's no, there's no choice. 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 When you go through an organization, that's, that's, of course, no, that's of course. my that's my own thing. All, all these look, no, all these entrepreneurs, everybody, everybody coming to work. Yes. No, let me tell you, my, my own is that uh, everybody is everybody's entitled to their own. Yes. But the reality is this, and this is what you always have to remember. To the this thing about yeah, being an entrepreneur, like, is a new thing. Everybody in Nigeria has been an entrepreneur since I was alive. Yes. Because everybody that had a job we had five or six other you jobs. They used to call it P, they used to call it PP. Yes. So entrepreneur is nothing new. The woman on the road selling body is an entrepreneur. The guy around the corner doing the boy that moves around the corner delivering body to everybody in that hood in Surulera is an entrepreneur. 
anybody that adds value in any particular way is an entrepreneur. Yeah. So I always tell the young guys, especially the tech community, because you know, I deal with a lot with those guys, I say, you're not a new Sadly, guy. Sadly, that's where the others come from outside, like South Africans. Come mm. and see what we have that we don't know how to make use of, and then they take advantage of well, it. Well, no, no, the right truth, it's, our, it's not that we don't, don't know how to take advantage. advantage. It's, it's not actually that they don't have it. It's not that we don't know. Let me tell you what the difference is. So, a, lot of the, a lot of the entrepreneurial stuff going on in Nigeria in the technology space, a lot of it actually, unfortunately, is, is superficial and vanity-driven because just at that stage of development. Now, the reality is that the major, major players have started coming for the last 18 months. And they're coming and they're sniffing. They're not really dropping money. All that $20 million they've put in here is nothing. Okay, they are players from outside. Yeah, ah, Silicon Valley has been here for three years. Yeah. Silicon yeah. Valley's been coming. Those who are yeah, because the guys here don't have the capacity. Yeah. What, no, what, yeah, but what has your country? No, because your country. Let me, tell, let me tell you something. Your country. No, Sonny, so let me give you a fact that will freak you out. In 50 years, or in the last 10 years, Nigeria has registered like 10 international patents. China registered a million last year. We have no R&D, no innovation expenditure, no investment. All Nigerian universities combined are spending less than a million dollars a year on R&D. South Africa spending all Nigerians combined. combined. Yes. South Africa spending four billion dollars. Yes. SA is spending four billion dollars. So you're yeah. not even in the game. China is spending five hundred billion last year. And we don't take that mindset. <laughs> we'll never get anywhere. Well, the whole point is that that's no, why I say that you go back to IP and you go back to rights, okay. and you go back to you invest in, and you see the things. The only way you can move the society and deal with the education and all these issues is to change the way you've been doing it. The but way you are reasoning now, who is your audience? Who is your audience? Sorry, yeah. let me answer that. Well, who is the, the audience, audience for people like us it has to be high-level people who have authority. It's not for and the general masses on the street. they listen to them? Well, sometimes they do, sometimes, sometimes they don't. You know, you know Obi, I, I, I think in the final analysis, we can try to avoid it as much as possible, but in this setting, Mm. Government sets the tone. Oh, definitely. In this setting, again, please. government, government sets, sets the tone. Yes. yes. Government but they are not even setting the right tone. Yes. yes. In, in other words, if you have, you talked about rule of, of law, mm -hmm. it's the major, major, Missing. major thing in this country. Yeah. If, if we get, you talked about R&D mm -hmm. and the universities, I, I'm, not, I'm not even sure what's happening in the university in terms of basic education to start with, not to talk about R&D. Not to talk about linkage or anything. So, this thing, all these things he's talking about. See, for somebody to start thinking about Nigeria and comparing your R&D budget <laughs> with South Africa, with China, that is somebody who cares for Nigeria and who is thinking about Nigeria. You see, education That's has, ed ed education yeah. has been in about. decline like so rapid decline years. like everything for the past. else now like education yes. is one of those things that drives that the country you make an investment today and you know you will not reap it it's your children that will reap it yes yes so people are only investing in their own children's education we have a transactional by sending them out of the country now what i'm trying to say is this there is a mindset that does not recognize the existence of nigeria yeah mm. or that does yep. not even want to give nigeria that excellence. does not want to give nigeria a chance mm -hmm. now when the colonial masters came here, they were here to do business. Yeah. You know, the Roger Niger company came, ah, see raw, raw materials, let's educate these people and let them start uh, congesting our factories. Uh -huh. And we tell them what price and we take the raw material for free. Yeah. Yeah. Now, after, they said, okay, let's hand it over to the queen. And they started calling all sorts of names, protectorate, amalgamate, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Their job was to rip us off. And, and make money. And, 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 you know, every colonial and you know, business was based when I, on that. When I, go to, when I go to England, when I go to England, I look at all their business, I say, are these people, they stole well. Yeah, of course. Now, when they left, because they put some things in place, divide and rule. We are not the first people they did that to. Look at no. what they did to the Indians. No. Look, look at Pakistan, we Afghanistan. We are not the first people. Do you understand? My what problem is, is, and this is why I keep talking about So what we're doing with it. We need, we need to wake up. We, up. we need to even go back. We, we need to go back. If, 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 if where we were yes. 40 years ago, 50 years ago, we were better. in every area of our lives, we were better. whether in sports, yeah. in medicine, we were better. W growing up, they had what they call sanitary inspectors. Yes. Do you know what Who would go to each house and, and look at your pot? Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Sanitary inspectors. We, we had. We are younger. We're my, younger. Father, my father was an education <laughs> officer. He would go from town to town to check what the teachers were doing. Mm -hmm. yes. Each teacher will have what they call this notes of lesson. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It yes. must be marked by the headmaster yes. to conform with Standards the syllabus. Standards and quality. And, and then he will come from outside and, and say, yes, you're doing it right. And then you go to another town. Mm -hmm. 
in 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 sports in in sports two thousand nine we had we had uh, what they called Empire Day yes. yes I remember where everybody from primary school we don't even have organized sports in school will 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 so participate the foundation of life and for many people that was the first time they knew yeah, they could run primary school secondary school or jump or do whatever then we ha we had um 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 Greer. Mm -hmm. Greer Cup. Uh -huh. He had junior AAA, senior AAA. In other words, by, by the, by the, the oh yes, in football, those institutions are gone. All gone. But, but do you, do you and, and you want to have an all-star national and, and team. And you want to show up at the World no, Cup you know, and win. Do you know what, do you know what happened? Do you know what happened in your time, sir? What happened in your time is that the system that the colonial masters put in place was so slightly functional. They yeah. took the same system they have in England which was built based on their country. Mm -hmm. In order to bring up a civil service that would serve them, mm. they needed that efficiency. So they instilled it in We could have learned from them. No, that's the problem. The, problem. the why, problem is that. Kept, why why did we just keep what we had? No, what we no, no, grown no, on the, it, but we, there was we a motive. Certain, the the motive was to create an efficient civil service yeah, to serve to the British. Them. When they left, yes. Yes. we didn't come together to say, this is our own motive. It still worked. It still worked for, for, for a time until <laughs> yeah. somebody just yeah, cleared no, the civil service overnight. Yeah, but so you can civil look at it. Civil service was cleared overnight. Yeah, so you, you can look at it. You can look at it. You, I, think you, I think you can look at it from what's allowed. <laughs> if I start getting political now. Does social media scare you? I think um, maybe fear is the wrong word, but we Concern. all need to appreciate social media. And I mean appreciate not in the sense of uh, jump up, but know the strength and the weaknesses of social media. Yeah, what, 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 what's, what's gone on in, in the US, for instance, in terms of the Russian in, uh, exactly. interference shows how dangerous so, so social so media life can, can be. You, you know, the, the, we started about radio mm -hmm. and um, the power of radio and the authenticity of radio. All of that is How's gone. gone. Is gone. Anybody puts anything out there now and says, um, Aditi was told yesterday, before anybody has a chance to even correct it, it's, 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 gone, gone, viral. it's, it's gone viral. It's yeah. gone completely viral. Yeah, exactly. And it remains there. in oh, that yeah. sphere yeah. It doesn't go away. forever. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, can, can I, can I, it's, it's funny actually because you see, on this issue, I look at social media in two different ways. As a personal user, and then, you know, my, my, our conference is the biggest by far on the continent in terms of new media, social media, and digital. Funnily enough, I think this, your format, you bring it to the conference in February. Because what, what we see happening, and I was going to talk about this Russia thing. Everybody's talking about the Russia thing. Because in Nigeria, we don't do post we don't post analyze anything. If we did post -anal analytics in Nigeria, you would find out that Nigerian social media has been weaponized since 2013. Yeah. And it's heavily weaponized and it's heavily stratified. It's stratified along ethnic and political lines. Mm -hmm. And that is why when you are receiving a lot of communication in WhatsApp. And, and, and religious lines. No, religious, definitely. Religious, yeah. So when you're receiving stuff in, in WhatsApp, what they've done is they profile. So when the, when the statement comes, it is normally captioned either Mohammed or Femi or Emeka. And people react based on their ethnic background, mm -hmm. first of all. Then at the same time, we have a Muslim president at, at present. So can and his agents on a mission of Islamic agenda. Absolutely. So you have all that stuff, and that goes into all the Igbo groups, all the Christian groups, and all of them are being attacked with that every day. So it, depending who you are, so no, depending who you are, yeah. depending who you are, you have been under attack in Nigeria for three years, and it's coming from all sides. The question is this, and this is the real issue, how are people able to filter and understand that breaking times is not an authentic news source, or that a headline called breaking news is actually not authentic. No, it's that the authentic. news source, how do you, do you understand? So people are not educated about that. And it's affecting- Apparently people are not educated about that. At in all. Most parts of the in, world. No, in, in most, most parts, parts of the world. Of the world. Yes, no, it's not only no that everywhere, that's, everywhere. That's, that's so the you're going to see, you will see that in the Trump election, it's all still unfolding, but there's a billionaire who bought Breitbart, right? about two years before the election, and he invested millions. He's the guy that won Trump the election, and he invested millions in calculating and creating this fake news. The real investigation on Jared Kushner is about that specific thing. They're checking the date lines of what Kushner was doing with data analytics on the Trump campaign. No, it's already up. I'm telling you what is happening specifically. So in Nigeria, social media is enormous because what it has done is given black people worldwide access. The gatekeeper thing you're talking about is why you're seeing the explosion in 
black women hair and makeup on Instagram, YouTube, you know? These things are now billion dollar industries. But, as Oga said, the threats of it is that if you have a society where people are not able to filter and the people who are in government don't know how to react, because don't forget, when we were younger, there was a news cycle. It was a, what, six hour, three hour news cycle? Now 24 seven. Yeah. News breaks at 11 p.m. How are you going to react? Yeah. You know, you know there's, there's also something I look at. I mean, yeah, social media is like a knife. You know, you can use it to cut your vegetables. Yeah. You can also use it to like stab somebody. Yeah. You can that's, use it to stab somebody. Metaphor, you know, you can stab somebody. You know, so it's, it's God is good. A whole lot of stabbing. Good. Yes, Ooh. but there is something I look at. Three last time. When we say social media, right? Google, mm -hmm. Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram, mm -hmm. Twitter. WhatsApp, Twitter, mm -hmm. all these guys are owned by Americans. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are coming into my other side of it. Now, uh, now, uh, now, how, how, now, they can pull you up. Yeah, but now, that's how, now, that's how they protect them. That's yeah. The no, what I'm, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if the president of America feels there's something funny, he'll call Mike Zuckerberg, call uh, whoever, and say, guys, come to White House, let's have a meeting. I don't know what the hell is going on, right? FBI can go and talk to them and say, look, Give us the passcode to this person's phone. Mm. He did that, blah, blah, blah. Now, we haven't even started thinking about that. Well, we have, but we're, well, not, we're, uh, not, we're uh, not talking to him. Well, no, yeah, but what I'm saying is, you know, we are all open. The algorithm for each of these things is being controlled for somewhere very far. Yeah. These guys are puppeteers. They're watching. They're having fun. They're making money, mm. you but, know. But I'll, I'll give you, just, just, yeah. to, just to buttress his point, actually, <laughs> which a lot of people didn't realize. When Zuckerberg came last year, right, Zuckerberg came, and one of the reasons he came was our conference, but also Andela. He had invested six months before he came. Yeah. Now, when he landed, one of the, there were a couple of really funny things that happened. And I think it just, in many ways, it demonstrates some of the issues in Nigeria that he's talking about. When he went to China and he went to India, right, in both markets, the authority, that is the, um, the, the digital agency here, the NCC, put severe restrictions on what Facebook can do as a business. Especially in China, enabling China to create companies like Baidu, yeah. who are now multi-billion dollar enterprises. China just lifted it now. Yeah, just now, because they built an enterprise that's worth yeah. $24 billion. Yeah. You understand? Because, you know, they yeah. protected themselves. Yes. Now, the difference is this. When Zuckerberg came here, I'm belongs to 99.9% .9 of Nigerians. He had already done a deal with Airtel. Airtel were launching the satellite the day after he left. They launched the satellite. The satellite crashed. If the satellite had not crashed, so I would have let, taken off from here as the, as, the, as the departing angel, and the press release would have dropped that he had released free, to, free internet for Nigerians through Airtel, because that was the deal. That's what he actually came for. And the whole economy, and even going to Abuja was just chasing him after the fact. He wasn't even planning to go. So you understand that our people were busy celebrating him being here without engaging the right. actual strategic objective of yeah. how are we dealing with our digital space yeah but i don't i don't think the, the airtel deal i'm sure they i'm sure they've looked at it no they've looked the, at the it the ncc had to have approved they had to, they approved it they, no, they did approve it but what and i'm saying is that security people would they, they, no they looked at it but what i'm saying is that it's not that they shouldn't have approved it the issue is that when you look at what china did to enable this thing you're talking about enabling enterprise mm -hmm. it's, it's like it's like beat fm now if you just allow hot 97 to around in lagos you understand without giving the local guy some kind of protection so yes, Nigerians are number one in every, every Nigerian, every social media platform in Africa, we're number one. But we don't own any social media platforms. And that's an issue that we should be thinking about. We don't need to protect to own, I, I think but we... Yeah. Protectionism is not necessarily a bad thing. It's, it's, how, it's how you it's do it. Protect it's for a time see, to let your, your own grow. I'm to surprised to hear that we don't own anything that noise. Maryland, well, Maryland, well, we, we, own. we own. We own, we own, we own, we own, we own we're not doing that badly. No, of course. I mean, not where, we don't own any unicorns. No, yes, yeah, no, no, true. Interswitch is unicorn. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there are some yeah. brands. But, but, but the thing is, unless we face the reality of how to tackle the problems we have, maybe through some of these easy to achieve social media we're talking about, we will not leave this doodrum. Yeah, but God, they're not, talking, they're, talking, talking, talking. Yeah, God, my head is getting swollen with talk. talk I understand talk. you, but you see, no the social media, the social media is also not easy. You see, that's what people think is low hanging fruit. Social media is it's difficult. The role of the woman is now more amplified as opposed to like just being at home. And it seems like it's some men are still struggling with that ideology. What do you guys think about that? I, I don't. I don't think men have ever struggled with. No struggle with that. No. We're, we're all married. I don't. Uh, well, I, 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 I'm quite. Happy not to not see the that. people that are that are. That not are, yeah. was on this I, table. I, 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 I don't see I, any. I'm, I'm not sure in this country we we ever had institutionalized um, segregation culturally. 
to some extent, yes, um, women were supposed to be in the background, or they grew up being in the background, and they themselves accepted they were in the background. But some things have changed. Why do you, why do you, say, why do you say they accepted? Culturally, because uh, to start with, for instance, if you grew up in, in, a, in a household where, where, where the, the father had 10 wives, you don't see anything wrong about having 10 wives. Mm. Yeah. It's a cultural thing and it's a mindset. But having said that, what I have noticed that changed probably in the last maybe 20 years or thereabout is females are probably getting through school in a larger number mm -hmm. than males. What the reasons are, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But that is bound to have an effect on the standard of women and their power and their uh, um, presence in the, in the polity generally. When you say standard of women, also, uh, standard of women, the, okay, the educational standard or? Yes, or in, in other words, it, it, economics. It, let's, let's look it, at economic standards. You have many more women coming out. I think the women are better the educated. Level of independence. They're better educated, they're better qualified, yeah, exactly. and they're more confident and more articulate. Has become more visible. The well, fact I, is, yeah. most couples these days, they all went to school together, mm -hmm. became husband and wife, they, you know, react, yeah. and the fact remains that as they work, so do they, do they share information. So when marriages are still intact, it's because they're working in sync with mm -hmm. one another. Yeah. But then, you know, and so then also, there's a, there's a flow but I will, of, yeah. you know, I, okay, my wife is going to do this, I'll just let her do it. When she was starting the magazine, for example, mm -hmm. she said, listen, I want to move away from Rui Communications mm -hmm. and start Genevieve Magazine. I think that's a good one because you knew that's your passion. Exactly. Let's see how, what you make of it. So she developed it. Mm -hmm. She's still working with it. I mean, one of the things so, I was... Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt. I was just just to, to, to respond to Kemi's thing, I think, you, I think, and, you know, DA said it exactly, that I think historically, I think about my late mother now, and, I and, and she suddenly was an outlier for a woman of her generation, right, for somebody who is you know, doing an undergraduate degree and doing a master's and a professor before 1965. There are not many black African women even studying the kind of subjects she was studying. And, she, and I saw all my life that in many of her relationships, she was the only woman that had a voice because most of the women because were in the that, background. Yeah, yeah no, be, yeah, but also because of the way she engaged. No, it's because she was, it's because yeah. she was, she, and she was educated. Yeah, 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 she excelled. Yeah, she excelled. Yeah, yeah, excel. 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 No, they, no, 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 but what I'm saying to you is that, let me give you an example. Like she used to say, a lot of times growing up, right? And it's, just, it's a kind of thing about what the mindset of the woman is as yeah. well. And I think that's what he was saying. So a lot of times growing up, she would say to me like, look, you know, her friends want to, um, her friends are inviting her to take us to parties and Owambe. And she's refusing for us to go because she's taking us to the museum. I say, what, it, what are you going to do at the party? You're not learning anything. So it's about the mindset also of the woman herself. able to influence the kids. Totally. Yeah. Not yeah. just the kids. Everybody. Uh, so that okay. you were focused on something that was about you, as, even as the women. So, you know, I think what it is now that women in Nigeria are leading in so many spaces yeah. that a lot of men are actually becoming insecure. I think that's the point that Kemi was trying to get to. And a lot of men, it's true, a lot of men in Nigeria deny space to women. And we know this. Yes. Uh, we don't have gender balance yeah. in public positions. Yeah. And we don't have either in government or in private the sector. That is affecting Nigeria. Yes, definitely. Well, there is some inertia with all of us and around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, things you're used to, mm -hmm. it takes time before they shift a paradigm. Mm -hmm. to, to, to that extent, um, I mean, I'm amazed, for instance, that it is still a major issue in the United States of America in 2017 about equal pay for men and women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm amazed. Yeah. yeah. No, but Nigeria, but Nigeria that, 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 that ha happens. Yeah. There is that, that's a bit of inertia. Mm -hmm. The boys club thing, maybe not to look down on the girls, but you feel more comfortable mm -hmm. am, am, among each, each other. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, that, to that extent, there may be bias. But I don't think it's terribly it's deliberate because yeah. Yeah. for as long as women are getting a lot more educated now mm -hmm. and um, they're able to branch out on their own and do things, the, the, the stranglehold is changed mm -hmm. and the cultural uh, setback is being overcome. You, they all grew up, I mean, we all grew up 
in, again, in every part of the world, girls moved towards playing with Barbie dolls mm -hmm. and boys played with um, that, then ca it was cars. Then stereotypes. Yeah. Yeah. Now it has changed. Women are playing football now. Y yes, yeah, so yes. All of them are on the internet. They are boxing. Are yeah. They are doing boxing. They are doing boxing. Y yes. See, but you find that the majority of, of women around the world will still cringe when they say women being punched. It is because of There's the still that, that, well, that, that primary culture, culture that, of the woman is the weaker, quote, sex. The woman is the weaker. She's physically <laughs> weaker. <laughs> physically yeah. weaker. Yeah. 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 And, and but we know that mentally, also, psychologically, yeah. so that she's running things. So that, emotionally, mentally and psychologically, she might be running yeah. you. But emotionally, yeah. So that I do not lose the direction of my life. <laughs> I'm saying that it's based on merit that the gender issue should not be. Because no, no, it shouldn't be. Man, no. woman, whoever is really rising and doing well should be given a chance to I know, but I know, but, but I but think but by, can, 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 can I introduce one, one, one of the elements? Can, 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 can I say one thing, though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's not, def, let's not deny the fact. I mean, maybe daddy has no experience in it and everything and all that. There is, there is an issue. Mm -hmm. We have to agree to the fact that. Um, there are some areas where preferences will be given to men and say, and a woman not go free handle and kind of situation. such as yeah. such, no no wait I, I I was in the newsroom where my my managing editor next managing editor was the woman was a woman mm -hmm. and they are men That's okay what I'm so where is so it that there you were said? there were other editors there were other sub editors that one that I can't mention his name now would rather die than. Mm -hmm. Dance, dance, yeah, dance, but they did that. You understand what I'm saying? But I yeah, but they did that. Listen to her. Yeah, she was fired. Fired him now. Exactly. Yeah, so, no, the issues. There are people that have those issues. There are people that have those issues. Yeah, issues. The it's real. The is for leadership. It does to, exist. For, for any progress to be made, leadership has to take control. Absolutely. If if there is a structure in place, you by follow it. It doesn't matter who, yeah. whether it's man it, or woman. It doesn't matter. You by follow the structure. By the way. It's it's uh, the latest research that um, I think it was PwC did. Boards that have women on them do better. Ha, do better. 90, exactly. 90, 90 some, they yes. do better. They're better. So, they're better managed. The the companies end up doing better with women. They're better on the board. corporate governance. Better but, but, focus. But haven't said all of that. Let, let me throw a little curve curve ball here. <laughs> Reverse it. Um, <laughs> haven't said the quality of the sex and the rest of it. Men and women, do they have the same emotions? No, no, no. never. No, no. No. Definitely not. And that yeah. also affects decision making. Well, of course, different. Yes. In yes, definitely. A lot of ways. This, the, you see, managing marriage is like running a business that you thrive. Mm -hmm. It depends on how you manage it. Mm -hmm. Emotions will always come in between. Okay? They don't think alike. No. It's a chess game. Mm -hmm. And so each one is playing that, making that move on the chessboard mm -hmm. according to how he believes is the best option. Uh, and then when you when you are at par, you manage it together. You continue together. Where there is disparity, yeah, well, you go decide. Well, you know, you know what? You know why I put that in. Mm -hmm. I I once got a consultant uh, to take a look at uh, our top people at some point and analyze us by asking questions and things. And um, like a focus group, sort of. Uh, not focus, he would ask you individual questions. Okay, and put a report together yeah, based on that. Program questions and then we okay. score. And he came up with my report, for instance. And I was amazed because he said, um, you like to compromise. Mm -hmm. You don't like confrontation. Mm -hmm. And a few other things which he said, I could relate to. Mm -hmm. In other words, if I can get you all to one body. Yeah, rather than I'm bowling and, and shouting as a boss. If you can have that, even as men, mm -hmm. the, the, the differences which our personalities bring to the table. Mm, yes. To that extent, females bring some personalities to the table, plus, minus, different mm -hmm. from men, plus, minus. Which means it depends on how we manage. Probably that's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Depends yeah. on how we're able to uh, so, blend, so blend, blend these things okay. together. So, yeah. For example, for some couples, for some couples, some children, it's a taboo to, for some for a couple to see their children, see them quarrel. Mm. Yeah. For some, you yes. know, yes. it's a part, it's a process of bringing up some of their kids so yeah. they can understand how life is. But this is where you must give. Yeah, that's being real. Take. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yes. Okay, so why do you think it's difficult for men, especially African men, to share with each other 
with yeah, each other? Ability, okay. weaknesses. We do. We just don't and after this biases. program, I would ask you a question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't think that. I don't know. I mean, like yeah, you have different. close friends. It's just that we don't put all of our business out there. Like so you would find in other worlds. You understand? <laughs> like Oboya <laughs> Fana. I know they see road again. You know, so that kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you understand. We do actually talk. You know. Yeah. Like, Yes, oh, really. yeah. but we just we, we we know how to like it's a closed circle. yes like then you come out like a like Zulu like wall you understand you know so <laughs> we are not like that chatty chatty kind of like maybe in the America or something like uh, just falling apart because your wife uh, left you yesterday or something like that or your kid is this thing. no we kind of chin up and everything is a massive yeah, chest uh, is it is it is it is no, it, no, is it we no, no. We are there are moments no, we where you will share no listen let me be sure Oh, we'll go okay. around, one by one. There are moments where you must share with a close friend. Yes. Somebody you trust. Yeah. But the fact remains that you yourself, you, you are in charge of your passion, That's your disposition, true. and the decision you have to face when you do make it. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I think the other one is when it comes to trusting people, yeah. people do get their fingers burnt. Mm -hmm. It has happened. And once you have a testimony, then, of course, next time you have to think twice. But having said that, you want to share your success story. And for failure now, we, we are, in fact, we now also share even our failure stories because there's room for growing back to success. So I don't see any big deal in any of these things. I just believe that see me as you see me. What you can make of me is what's important for me. But what I make of myself is the most important thing for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, uh, um, there are stereotypes. There were stereotypes, probably there still are, in places around the world, not peculiar to us as such. Probably there's something about the African man um, culturally. You're supposed to be the... Hero. The king. Yeah, the real <laughs> big pillar in, in yeah. the place. And, Never um, showed your weakness. Yeah, almost emotionless. Um, um, we don't... Oh, oh, at least my parents didn't go about telling me, oh, I love you and, and the rest of it. Yeah. I, I just noticed that he hasn't beaten me for, for a few days. <laughs> that means that he that must, must, must love you more than love But then that made you decide how you wanted to, to, to bring, your, bring up yeah, your children. Yeah. So yeah. Exactly, yeah. It wasn't exactly like that, exactly. So th that is there. What probably you find is um, beyond the general stereotype, we're all still individuals. And the individual person, um, I mean, black, black or white, someone like Trump, for instance, is obviously in a different world of his own, in, in which he, he, he doesn't apologize for anything, nothing is ever wrong with, with him, he must bulldoze his way. There are human beings like that, even Africans, but that's individual thing. Sonny said something which is probably true. Um, I find, for instance, I'm a very suspicious person. In other words, I, um, I stay off until I find I can Trust come you. closer. Mm -hmm. So the natural instinct for me is to be cautious and, a, a, cautious and a bit aloof until I am sure that I can talk to this person. And uh, once that bridge is crossed, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have any problems. Um, yeah, like, uh, well, I, I share, I share, <laughs> you know, I, I say, I, I say that um, our generation is, uh, this, my generation is, is the experiment for, for a lot of things. I mean, we, we, uh, um, we grew up when the middle class was finishing. We are the first people to have kids who, who we have to raise radically different than how we were raised. Yeah, exactly. You know, because my kids, I mean, when you when the my dad's horn presses, everybody's got everybody it. first go upstairs <laughs> first. <laughs> now when my horn when my horn presses, the whole family come runs down. out to come. So you know, there's a there's a yeah there's a there's a, a, a completely different thing. So and like he says, my if my father tells you he loves you. You are dead. <laughs> if you but your if I don't tell my daughter or my, my if I, you know, now we, we, we're, we're in a totally different. Um, so we have learned to be expressive. And I, I run a business. I run a lot of businesses. And 
a lot of them, my partners are not there. Mm -hmm. So people like Obi mm -hmm. suffer. You come and see me and I'll sit down yeah. and tell him. The only thing I don't put out there is, um, you know, if family, if I'm having any issues with but my, my prop, if my son, my son's admission to school, my bank yeah, loan, I my this, I, I, discuss, I say it to, I discuss my, phone. I, yeah. and my tell, my wife, I pick up the phone and I come up, I say, this is what happened, dude. what okay. should we do, you know, I find that it, 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 it maybe because of the peculiar situation I occupy, but I find that it just calms me. Poor yeah. Obi, I'm so, and I thank you for. <laughs> <laughs> you come for one, call me for one thing, I'll be on the phone for two hours. I say, bro, <laughs> you know. But I find that I find, I, I, and I find that a lot of my friends are like that. A few yeah. are not like that, and yeah. they and they we, we, they, yeah. they like to keep things to themselves. But you'll implode with the amount of things that's that probably, yeah. that you, you, you we, we jungle, carry these jungle. days. You know, we carry, my dad used to be in bed at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. After network news, piam. Mm -hmm. At nine o'clock, I haven't even started leaving the office. So, you know, so I, I, th I think this generation, I think we're a lot more expressive than... <laughs> Victor, what are you doing? The, the evolution you should be with those people. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But you see, you see, it's funny, as I was listening to talk about the evolution of this thing, and I was thinking about the fact that, you know, in the first instance, you know, just when we talk about fathers, yeah, and saying, you know, about the lack of expression. I think most of us with this age, our fathers, I mean, expression was just not happening, you know, but you knew the man loved you, but most of the time you were assuming. Because you didn't actually really show you. And in if that he way. tells you, it means you. Don't. Exactly. I mean, if, I mean, for me, I mean, for most of us in my generation, if my mother ever called my full name, I'm on full alert. There's problem. <laughs> There's trouble from that moment <laughs> onwards, and I will not be relaxed until I've seen her and passed that hurdle. For my father to even remember my full name is like, ha, ah, what's, what's this drama about? So I think like that has totally changed. I think that now. As a guy, first of all, every guy I know has a strong clique of guys who actually sustain him. And if you don't have that, you can't exist because you must be able to talk to somebody who you can tell the 100% truth all the time, who is not going to judge you for that truth, yeah. but just going to be able to give you some filter back. His life may be completely messed up, but he's the best guy and giving you the advice you need to hear. <laughs> and this happens, everybody has that, yeah. those people. Yeah. And there may be not less than three or four in your life. I know millions of people, but there are three or four or five that when it's, when it's really dark, you, everybody needs to hear some sunlight sometime from somebody else. All the truth. Yeah, all you the know? truth. And, and different and friends for, for different, different Yeah, exactly. No, it's not the one you gist about money with that you <laughs> It's about, about your relationship so, with, yeah? yeah? yeah. <laughs> you know, I think that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Yeah, but I mean, you know, she's also got a point. I mean, um, growing up, the boys are told to be strong. And yes, the girls definitely. are encouraged to be more emotional. So as we, we get into secondary school, primary school, you see the girls a lot more expressive, which helps, actually, you know. But I mean, yeah, in this, our era, we, we, we are a lot more expressive. But again, it has to be in a small clique. Can I add one thing to what he's saying? Mm -hmm. Can I just think, of like, all this thing... Uh, Nigerian men are the most emotional men on the planet. I think that's a 100% truth that people actually do not engage. You know, every single time, I, I, I'll use an example. When my mother passed two years ago, I remember when I was a kid, you know, when you're a kid and you go to funerals, yeah? And you're wondering that, oh, uh, this auntie or uncle that died, yeah? That they're, you know, and you're wondering why their children are crying mm -hmm. because the children are in their 40s. And you're a kid, 40 seems like 100 years yeah. old. Yeah. And that ah, that person like that, they were so old, why are they still cry? You know, I remember, I still remember as a kid all the time, because you didn't understand what was going on. I'm saying, hey, I'm almost 50, my mother dies. I'm just thinking, my God. So this is what it means. So that loss, right, of human beings, everybody cries. I have male friends that are crying every day, either because of their child, their wife, their parents, their we friends. But we don't necessarily bring it out. The other side of that, the other side of that, sorry to steal your thunder. I find, for instance, um, when it comes to, I, I can be watching a film. Yeah, and get emotional. Right? Yeah. Oh, I do that. And I do that all the and time. And I actually and have tears. I cried yeah. endless love. Yeah. Yeah. Te yeah. Tears coming, coming out. Oh, yeah. my yeah. God. Endless love, I cried. <laughs> you, know. right, you, just, you just lost my respect. <laughs> <laughs> but I cried. And eight, eight years old, <laughs> right? I was 10 years old, right? <laughs> I was 10 years old. So, so, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me see. No, no, no. That happens. The champ. The champ. Oh, yeah, the champ. The champ. The champ. That's the one. Yes. Wake up, champ. That happens to me. Wake up. Many times. But you know why? On the other hand. On the other hand. Things that you will expect, I will cry about. You will not. You won't. Exactly. No. Maybe later. Be because, to use the heightened uh, expression, my I like mother. to do my crying in the rain. Yeah. 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 It, it's it's difficult to, to it's bad. My dad died twenty years ago, and I had to be strong because all my younger brothers yeah. were. But when I broke down, like later. two years later, Ooh. it was it was it, I almost went to hospital. Okay, that's interesting because Same because thing happened, I, thing I, I, to me. I I just kept you, you know, go through a process. I had to be to strong for my mom. Little, my mom was my alone. Twenty one years ago, we had yeah, to, I cried much later. We had, yeah, 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 you had to thing. just keep it, and something just yeah. triggered it. I don't remember what I, it was. I it just triggered it. Same thing. And I just yeah. shot down. I bet my dad, I, I really shot down. We are big babies. No, truth. We are emotional yeah. by nature. Listen, I'll tell you so the same. I you have yeah. to be strong outwardly. Look, can but I'll tell you yeah, what happened to me. Third, I mean, my father died like um, September 2004. Then because of his position, it took ages to do the burial. So this whole process, September he died, I didn't cry once. I would all do, just head down. But when family Go, say, come on, no, come on. No, no, no. I did the whole thing, finished. Family, I'm from one I'm one month burial. I mean, I'm talking, you have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea. This is how I talk about December 24th, I left on I told my mother that. And you know, the tradition, she has to stay there for another year. I said, I said, I'll see you. <laughs> Me, I'm going. I came to Lagos. Still had a, had a reaction. In February, I went to London. I was sitting in London in February, and somebody said something to me. And I said, hey, yeah, let me ask my dad. Mm. Oh. Listen, bro, for the next three days, I was a disaster. I was just, you know, I did because I suddenly realized that, ah, you don't have it. this no, guy's no, gone. No, yeah. I mean, because, when, you know, you just get into the situation. Of, you know, yeah, you're on yeah, a suspended yeah, shock. And you just keep denial, going. But yeah, the, when it hits denial, you, denial, you denial, just, just be. Sometimes I, I, I hear a, 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 a song. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you remember somebody. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we were sitting around a, a few years ago. Uh, it was um, uh, election time, the Koei Club election, and mm -hmm. some of us past chairman were supposed to supervise. And um, uh, a, a former chairman, Jibo, was on my side. And he hummed, Irene, good night. Mm -hmm. Good night, Irene. And I, 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 I sang the next line. He looked at me, and then we sang it through. How did you know this? It was my father. And oh, for, wow. the, for, for the remaining hours I spent on that table, I, was, I kept just thinking going through his record yeah. library in my yeah. head, yeah. you know, and, and yeah. 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 No, it's, 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 uh, just imagine you sit down one day, put your thoughts on paper, and write that book. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.